I have to tell you, this is not what I had in mind for the inside of the house. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. We've gotten a lot of rain, a lot of rain. The weather's been uh, not very cooperative, and I'm excited to say that we've got the roof going up. You can see it there, the red roof. I'm very excited about that. And, um, but it rained so hard the last couple of days, we actually got some water in the house. So why don't you come in here and let me show you one of the problems. But thankfully, we purchased the right products for the inside, so it's not really gonna cause much of a problem. But come on in, I'll show you. So if you remember back soon after we got the foundation block laid, uh, we put the floor joists down, and then after that, we put this product, which was the subfloor. Well, we got rain inside the house over the last couple of days. And since we have this um, product, which is not really conventional plywood, now had it been conventional plywood, we would be in big trouble here on this floor. What would happen is it would start buckling and popping and you would have just this unevenness all the way across the floor. Or if we'd used OSB board like we've done on the walls, if we'd used it on the floor and it got wet like this, you would see it basically unravel. And it would start on the edges. Here's a line right here where there's a seam, and a seam running here. That's where it would start breaking apart. But with this product, this Advantec, um, it has waterproof qualities that are built into it. You can actually have this stuff underwater for six months and it'll still hold together. So I'm really not worried about the fact that we've got a big puddle of water here on the floor and you wonder where did it come from? Well, it actually ran down these side walls because if you look on the outside of the house, you know, this is a gable end that comes out toward the south. And so you have valleys. And this water came down here and here. You can see how moist it is up there, down these valleys and puddled in this area here. So it's a good thing that the guys are here to put the new roof on so this won't be a problem going forward. So let me get out of this wet area and find a dry spot here and show you um, just how this product is put together. You can see these are various shards of wood here that are pressed into this board. The waterproofing qualities are integrated or infused into these four by eight sheets. Now, what makes this so green is that there's really very little waste, if any, in the production of, of this product. Uh, the trees, they use pine, they plant uh, 2.5 million new little pine trees every year. And what they use is the entire log. When you're using shards like this, you can use every little scrap to make it. And the fact that this uh, product is so stable and consistent, there's very little waste on the job site. And the fact that it's not buckling and it's not going to have to be replaced, <laughs> that's another great savings. Hey, if you're enjoying following our progress, make sure you tell a friend about it and check in regularly and subscribe to eHow Home.